All workflows begin by bringing in raw data. So let's bring in our raw data files. We will complete this process in three steps. This video demonstrates the process required for the first step, importing a text file into Alteryx. The first step is a basic data import. Locate the green in out menu and drag an input data tool onto your canvas. Now that you have the input data tool on the canvas, you have to configure the tool. In this case, we need to tell Alteryx where to find the data file that we want to import. In the Connect a File or Database field, click the option to set up a connection. Select Files and then select the text file. Use the File Explorer to locate the file folder that you created for the case. Go into the mDNA file folder and then the raw data file for the mDNAs. Select the first raw data file for Flanagan's Enterprise 2017 10K. Once you've selected the file, click Open. The mDNA file is unstructured, so we are going to read the file in as a delimited text file, with the delimiter being none. As we will see when we are done configuring our input data tool, this will tell Alteryx to place all of the mDNA in the first column of the dataset that gets brought into Alteryx. Since each file begins with the data, uncheck the box for the first row contains field names, and then select OK. You will see a preview of the data as it will be brought into Alteryx in the configuration window. We need to make a few more changes. First, scroll down in your configuration window. Click the drop down arrow for option 4 to output file name as field, and select the option for file name only. This will create a second column that identifies the file from which the data was pulled. The second column will be useful when we want to identify the mDNA disclosure by firm and by fiscal year. The mDNA file is large. To avoid truncating or removing data upon import, let's set the field length to the maximum character limit possible in Alteryx. Change the option 7 field length to 214-7483-647. The mDNA file may use characters that are typically understood to be programming commands. This can mess up or prohibit the import of a text file. To ensure that this situation doesn't mess up our import, select option 10 to treat read errors as warnings. The text files are saved in a common Unicode format. To ensure that Alteryx reads the data using this format, change option 11 to Unicode UTF-8. Now that we have configured our tool, go ahead and save and run your workflow. When you do so, if you click on the tool, you will be able to see the data in the results window. Good job. You have imported text file data into Alteryx. The next video demonstrates a useful process of using a relative file path so that you can share your workflow with anyone.